Welcome everyone to another Star Wars The Old Republic video and this video is going to be regarding a very quick uh, credit making guide slash tip which is just a really quick way to make credits and it's not going to make anyone extremely rich it's not going to make anyone you know 100 million 200 million credit rich but it's a very quick way to make a few million credits and that can be useful in, in many scenarios on one hand you might need a few million credits just to get that one item you've really been wanting on the other hand this is a nice tip to use just on the side while you're doing other things to make credits like while you're waiting for items to appreciate in value when you're buying low selling high or when maybe you're farming heroics or something uh, you're going to find really quickly that this is just kind of a, a nice quick way to make credits but it's very dependent upon the context it's dependent upon your server about what certain items are selling for on the gtn but enough rambling on about that let's get into the actual tip and you'll understand a little bit more about what i'm talking about now i actually made a video on this back in patch 5.4 that video got a lot of uh, really positive reception a lot of people were finding this helpful and surprisingly enough this tip worked really well back in four in four 4.0 it actually works really well now in patch 5.4 and uh, we're now we're bridging on patch 5.5 and um it's just kind of a really great way to make credit. So let's get into it. This one is regarding converting universal prefabs to decorations. Now universal prefabs are an item that are crafted by certain players and they often sell for very affordable prices on the GTN. So you don't need to be already a credit millionaire to use this tip. You only need to have basically amassed, you know, a few hundred thousand credits, which is very easy to do in game. Now what you'll notice about these uh, universal prefabs is that they fluctuate a lot in price. You'll see in this video that I'm buying up the green ones here for 150,000 credits. I'm buying up the purple ones for 179,000 credits. Very expensive. And I'll just quickly shoot off a clip here on the red eclipse. Now you'll see that here on the red eclipse, they're going for considerably lower prices. Uh, the green ones are only going for 46,000 credits and the purple ones are going for 145,000 credits. I would call these items kind of an unstable economy because the prices never really seem to stabilize. They jump all over the place, which is why, as I said earlier in this video, this tip is very much about context. It's about what deal you can find on the GTN. Are you there at the right moment? But a lot of times you'll find that you'll still make credits regardless. So in this first example, I bought up two universal prefab uh, green ones for 150,000 credits for a total of 300,000 credits. And I bought up 10 purple ones at 179,000 credits each, which is 1.8 million credits. Now what I'm going to do with these is I'm going to straight up go and convert these to decorations. Uh, the vendor that you can do that at is at the stronghold section here. It's the utility uh, decoration vendor and I'm going to convert the green ones. Now you have two options. You can convert them to item modifications. Those are the best sellers and then you can also convert it to a legacy modification. So what I would suggest doing is uh, check on the GTN which one is selling for more and your, exper your experience will kind of dictate which one you want to deal with. On some servers maybe the legacy modification is selling for a lot more. It sells easier. On the Harbinger I have found that the item modification sells the best. So I'm going to buy up uh, an item modification here. And also a legacy mod just to show you what they sell for. I'm also going to, with the purple ones, buy up two guild banks. Now each guild bank costs five, so I'm just going to buy up two. And I'm going to run back to the GTN and I'm going to put them up for sale. And what you'll find is that they're actually selling for more than I, what, what I bought the universal prefabs for. So it's kind of a straight up way of just converting credits to more credits. It's very funny. And um, yeah, so I'm going to put them up and I'm going to list up the guild banks for around 1.3 million credits each. I'm going to list up the item modification for 235,000 credits and I'm going to list up the legacy modification for two, for actually no, right now it's selling for 150,000 credits. But what you'll find is when I actually sold it, I sold it for a lot more because uh, this one was priced, it was very underpriced and it sold really quickly. And so I was able to uh, list up mine for a little bit more and sell it. I'll jump on over to show you guys that these things actually sold. So here you'll see that I sold the item mod for 235,000 credits. I sold the legacy modification for 270,000 credits and I sold the guild banks uh, making a total of 2.4 million credits on the guild banks. So with the greens I made a profit of I made a profit of 200,000 credits, not much, but it's something. And then with the purples, which are the real money makers, I made a profit of around 600,000 credits. So in total from this little venture, I almost made a million credits. Now, this is probably on the lower end of what you'll see. And it's, it's an example of where I bought them at pretty high prices, but I was still able to make a little bit of a profit. And uh, keep in mind, I'm buying up very few. If I bought these in bulk, I could probably make a lot more credits. But we're going to jump to a little bit more of a profitable example. So what you'll see here is this is another instance. This one's actually a little bit more recent when I recorded the footage. 
and uh, I'm buying up the greens here for 65,000 credits, which is a lot cheaper than what I bought the other ones for. And what you'll see here is the purple ones are also for 99,000 credits, really significantly cheaper than what the other ones were for. So this is an example of kind of monitoring the GTN, and right when you see a really good deal on these things, you buy them up. So I'm gonna buy up 10 of the purples at uh, 99,000 credits each, for a total of just under a million credits. I'm gonna buy up actually three of the purples, the individual ones for 146,000 credits because I only need three to buy another decoration I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you guys in a, in a few seconds. So basically, I'm gonna run over back to the vendor. I'm gonna convert the 10 purples to two guild banks like I did earlier, and I'm gonna convert three purples to a GTN kiosk. Now we're gonna do the run back to the GTN and uh, we're gonna list these. Uh, what you'll see here is I'm going to list the guild bank for actually just under 2 million credits. So interestingly enough, it's selling for a lot more than what the other one was selling for. And then I'm going to list up the GTN kiosk for 950,000 credits. So the things here are selling for a lot more. And that's only because I was kind of monitoring the GTN to see uh, what's the best time to sell these at. And so um, I'm going to skip on over to when these actually sold. So here you'll see that I ended up selling one GTN for, uh, one guild bank, sorry, for 1.8 million credits. I sold another one for 1.6 million credits, and then I sold the GTN kiosk for 794,000 credits. So on the GTN kiosk, I made a profit of around 300,000 credits. Still not crazy, but actually on the guild banks, I ended up making a profit of just under 2.4 million credits. So that's a huge profit to have made. And uh, yeah, so that's kind of the tip guys. It, it worked really well for a lot of people in the past. As you guys can see in this video, I showed you two kind of really extreme examples. One example where you still made uh, quite a few credits, but not really that much. And then on a second example where I made actually a quite a few million credits just for the amount of work I put in. I put in about maybe two, three minutes of work. I mean, monitoring the GTN for these prices is really not hard. It takes like 10 seconds. You quickly just type in universal prefab. You see what, um, prices they're going for, then you type in item modification or guild bank and you just see what the decorations are going for. And it's really simple to do the math and to see whether it's a profitable time to kind of convert the prefabs and try to sell those decorations. But these decorations are always very high in demand, so it's kind of always a good tip to use. These decorations will never really go low in demand because it's always people opening up new guild strongholds uh, or guild flagships or whatever, and they always need guild banks to, uh, to use because they're very, um, useful one would even argue that they're essential for a guild to have so that is the tip guys i would recommend getting your feet dirty with this one because um uh what's going to end up happening is you're going to gain a little bit more experience and it's going to suddenly become very easy and it's kind of a nice thing to have as i mentioned earlier just in your back pocket for let's say for example you just need an extra three four million credits and this is kind of an easy thing to do it takes really no time uh, you just need to make sure that the market is right probably not going to work really well on dead servers or low low populated servers but i can attest to the fact that it will work really well on the harbinger and the red eclipse because i've done it on both of these servers to a lot of success and it probably works very well in a few of the other servers like ebon hawk as well so hope you guys enjoyed the video hope you guys found it informative let me know if this worked out for you in the comment section or maybe some tips you guys have to try to augment this process i'll see you guys in the next one